What's up traders, welcome back. Today we're gonna have a different type of fun and that's because we're gonna be talking about staking, which is like your dividend portfolio if your stocks had little babies from time to time. That's pretty much what staking is in a nutshell. Actually, talking about staking and babies, let's actually go here to the trading screen and let me talk about another platform that is really nice to hold your cryptocurrency on, and that is BlockFi. And the reason I actually wanna talk about BlockFi is not because the $250 you can get when you sign up using the link in the video description below, but because this oftentimes gets confused with staking and it's a little exhausting. So basically BlockFi is a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform. So I can give BlockFi, let's say I could park my crypto there and it's valued at $10,000 depending on what cryptocurrency you park there, they give up to 8.6% APY here. And that's how I would make um, my money or make interest on, on a platform like BlockFi. They basically lend it out, they take a percentage and they give the rest of the percentage to me. So that's peer-to-peer -peer lending. It has nothing to do with staking. And with staking, you're holding a coin using the POS system proof of stake as opposed to the POW system proof of work. Think about mining and having a computer solving the algorithms and then you get rewarded for that. By holding a coin using POS proof of stake like Ethereum 2.0, you are basically securing the system or helping to secure the system and you're getting rewarded for that. That is what staking is. And this is a really good article we'll talk about in a second here from coinmarketcap.com, which I'm sure you guys are all aware of. Um, but I wanna talk a little bit about Coinbase staking first. I wanna show you how it works here on Coinbase. And then we'll talk about some comparatives as well, plus pros and cons of using Coinbase. Because trust me, there are many cons and some pros, let's just say. And trust me, I'm a Coinbase shareholder, so I should be very bullish on the way I talk about Coinbase, but sometimes I really just can't. Um, so, okay, we'll talk about some comps uh, later on. There's some really, really good alternatives to Coinbase staking. We'll talk about why. Um, anywho, here we go. So what I wanna do in this example is talk about staking uh, Tezos because that's the, that's one that is almost on across all platforms. It's a pretty popular one to stake. So let's talk about this one. And the best way to get started is actually explain why you need a platform like Coinbase or some of the other ones we're going to talk about later, as opposed to staking on your own. And this this um, post is an example, a perfect example of that one here. So to become a staker or baker of Tezos, baker is another form a word for staker. Uh, in the Tezos ecosystem. A user needs to hold 8,000 XTZ coins and run a full node. So now I need to actually own quite a lot of Tezos, which is about, what is it, Tezos are at like $3, $3 right now. So that's like eight, 16, $24,000 that I would have to hold. Mm, that's a lot of Tezos if I'm not you know, fully ready for that and I would have to run a node, mm, no thank you. So, or, or maybe if that's your thing, anyway, I'm assuming you're new to it right now. That's where the perspective we're coming from. Luckily, third-party services have emerged, allowing small coin holders to delegate small XTZ quantities and share baking rewards. Annual percentage yield on XTZ staking ranges anywhere from five to 6%. Five to 6%, keep that number in mind because right out of the gates, what do we see here? Tezos, 4.63%, hold, hold up. They just said five to 6%. And this is the first con with Coinbase. First con, right? Like, it didn't take very long. So you're getting a less APY. And let's, you know, I was gonna do the the um, the comps, the comparable brokerage at, at later, but I, it's just, it's so important. So Stakefish is another one. And let's quickly check out what some of their fees are. And here we're on the Tezos uh, validator. Your expected reward is six to 10%. It's not 10% anymore because Tezos lowered it, so it's really closer to 6%. There's a, another platform here called stake.us, which is also a really, really big platform. If you go here to the uh, Tezo, Tezos, they offer the 6.1%. Again, this is lower. Um, this is nominal yield. It's it's uh, it's definitely, definitely lower than this one, but they're saying around 6%. Now we have My, Cont My Container, another popular st staking platform. They're saying 6.2%. Even if that is a little bit high, and you're not gonna be getting 6.2 per se, because it does fluctuate. It's not always perfect. It's 
it's definitely better than Coinbase's APY of 4.63 here. So that's one of the cons with Coinbase. You're not getting the high APR. You're not getting the consistent APR across the board um, on the higher end, which is which is kind of an annoying place to start. Um, and then if we come here, you probably notice here on Stakefish, they say right off the gates, 8% commission. I feel like when a, a, a website puts the commission front and center, you know it's, it's probably going to be good. It's got to be competitive or else they wouldn't advertise it like that. Um, I was actually a little bit nervous here with stake.us. I was looking all over the place for their commissions and eventually I did find it in the FAQs. Um, and they, they already said it in a kind of backwards way. We pay 90% of block rewards to delegates. So basically their commission is 10%. My container, similar situation here. I had to do a little bit of digging and you basically just have to do a little bit of math here. There is a reward fee. So that's basically 0.31% divided by 0.62%. That gives you 5% fee. So I found my container to be the best fee. Stakefish is a little bit more of the, the big player in the space at the moment. Stake says they're more of a custodial so maybe they focus a little bit more on security i'm not totally sure about the competitors we can do that on a whole different video i can really dive on to that but i did want to let you know so now we got fees basically south of 10 percent and with coinbase i was i was looking all over the place and you know i was like okay well let's go to their faqs and uh, is there a fee associated right with this service again they don't say and it's like oh why, why don't they just say it um so i then had to go to their user agreement and eventually I found it. Coinbase will distribute this reward to you after um, received by Coinbase, blah, 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 minus a 25% commission. 25% commission. That's that's heavy. Boom. That's like a slap in the face. All right. So now you're getting less than you know 6% like the other platforms are offering and you're, you're also getting a heavier commission. So that's why Coinbase oftentimes gets made fun of. Um, for people that stake their coins there, but you know what I have a few coins being staked in there. So um, Yeah, I don't know call me a hypocrite or something like that. I don't know um, I actually the only reason I'm staking coins here is for an example and basically to do Coinbase um, to use Coinbase You just have to go down here buy Coinbase and please please for the love of God do not buy your coin your your cryptocurrency on coinbase.com it like just don't do it um, do it on coin on pro.coinbase we'll show you that in a second but yeah you could just pretty much buy this let's say we want to buy a hundred dollars worth right here um it, you're, you're you're gonna have a three percent fee that's insane a three percent fee just to buy and you'll basically end up with 97 dollars worth of tezos and then you will put it uh into your um, xtz balance uh, and then once it's in your wallet that's when you start staking it uh, down here, Tezos reward, earn rewards when you own more than one XTZ or more. So I do want to talk about another con here. So we, we talked about the con of Coinbase already with the high fees and then the lower APY out of the gate. There is, a, there is another con here on Coinbase. You have to hold it for about 30 to 45 days for you to get the, um, get the interest on it. So if you're not, if you're not holding it for a long time, honestly, don't even bother putting it on Coinbase for staking. After the 30, 45 days, then depending on which co coin, it reduces to like three to six day increments. So just keep that in mind um, if you're looking to uh, use um, Coinbase com now i was actually i did actually buy 10 here just to use an example uh, there it is now it pops up i don't know why it wasn't popping up anymore um so yeah this is the 35 to 40 days and then it gets reduced to three to six days you start getting your rewards quicker and quicker but yeah look at that you're already getting a lower interest rate four to six three i mean that is ridiculous um not not really what you want uh, to be seeing now i did want to throw up here um if you guys are not aware of Coinbase Pro, please just check it out. Um, I used to be a huge Coinbase uh, Pro trader. I had over a million dollars in 30 day tra uh, trailing volume, which really lowered my fees quite a bit. Um, but if, if you just if you just use uh, Coinbase, you can go ahead and deposit your USD here for free um, and you'll get that uh, pretty quickly. But the the only thing you want to keep in mind is it takes about six days for the cryptocurrency or the USD to, you know, be safely landed in your Coinbase Pro account. So that's a little bit of a problem, too. So you get the USD right away. Um, why did it say from there? Um, so bank account, I could put, let's say, 
a uh, hundred dollars here and I will get that instantly that boom it will pop up right away right here except if I want to withdraw that right away to let's say Coinbase it takes six days so just before the USD hits the account so just keep that in mind and that's currently at the moment so there is a way to kind of pay less fees but at the same time the fees are still pretty high if we go here to orders and I just bought some uh, let's see filled uh, yeah, we just bought some XTZ um, for like a little uh, trial. I was trying to make sure everything was right when I'm telling you guys. Yeah, so the fees here are 0.5%. But that's, you know, 0.5% compared to 3% buying here on Coinbase.com. That's why I'm saying don't buy on Coinbase.com, buy on Coinbase Pro. I'm sure you guys already know about that. Um, but since this is kind of like an introduction video, I, I did want to throw it out there. Um, okay, moving along here. The good thing about Coinbase, and let me not bash on it all that much, because Coinbase is pretty amazing for certain things. Now, they will automate your taxes. They'll give you your 1088 or 1099 form at the end of the year. You just, you know, you just pretty, pretty much send that to TurboTax or your, your tax accountant, and boom, it's all taken care of. With these other platforms, that's not always the case. It's going to be a little bit more tricky. Um, plus, Coinbase does have a very, very easy interface. It's all kind of intuitive. You probably already have a Coinbase account. So honestly, by all means, I, like just getting started sometimes, put like a thousand bucks in it, different coins, figure out how the system works, isn't isn't necessarily the a bad thing. So, you know, it's easy. The taxes are done for you. And sometimes it's like, honestly, the way Coinbase does things, it makes it a little bit more fun. Look at this. There's like a little bit of a counter here. I already made some credits. Um, so it's kind of fun, right? The problem is I can't touch that for now 30, 45 days or I'll mess up the whole system. So like there's, I think once you become more of a staking professional or you've done it for more than a few days, you're like, mm, okay, what are some alternatives? And that's that's really where these other platforms come in with Stakefish, one of the biggest in the spaces, offering a very competitive 8% commission. We have stake.us, bunch of uh, coins here you can stake, offering a nice commission. Uh, and then obviously my container that we talked about as well with the lowest 5% commission uh, based on this calculation here with Tezo. So those are some comparables. I would love to hear where you guys do your staking. What do you guys think about Coinbase? And do you guys think Coinbase is going to improve their staking right now? Because I gotta say, I, I was a little bit thrown off by some of the um, just the, the fees on this platform. Oh well, oh well. Coinbase has always been notorious for fees, so you, you kind of know what you're getting into. Anyway, guys, let's wrap it up on this video. I'll see you then first thing tomorrow morning for the live stream. Don't forget to drop a like on the way out. It's the easiest way to support the channel. And uh, yeah, guys, like always, stay safe and make some awesome trades. Ciao, ciao.